With the 2020 Tokyo Summer Olympics just five months away from kicking off in the Japanese capital, the COVID-19 outbreak is raising concerns about whether the world's biggest and the most celebrating sporting event might have to be called off. Our Eason Jae tells us more. The Tokyo Marathon, scheduled for March 1st, will be held on a much smaller scale than originally planned this year in the light of the COVID-19 outbreak. Roughly 38,000 amateur runners will not be allowed to participate. Instead, it will be limited to only 200 elite runners and wheelchair participants. However, the bigger concern is the 2020 Tokyo Summer Games that's scheduled to start on July 24th. As the COVID-19 outbreak is not yet under control, there are concerns over whether the event could even take place. The WHO says it hasn't made a decision on the matter. We have not offered uh, uh, advice uh, to the, uh, the IOC for the Olympics one way or the other, and neither would we. It is not the role of WHO to call off or not call off any event. It is the role of WHO to offer technical advice, to support a considered multi-layered risk assessment around the event, to offer advice on risk reduction and risk mitigation measures, to offer advice on risk response measures, and it is the decision of hosting countries and the organizing agencies to make that decision. According to the Tokyo 2020 Organizing Committee Chairman, the committee isn't even considering cancelling or delaying the event and will press on with the Olympics regardless. Citing a Japanese virologist, the New York Post reported on Wednesday that if the Olympics were to happen tomorrow, they would have to be canceled. The Tokyo Organizing Committee and the IOC have reiterated that they're going to continue following the advice of the WHO. It raises the possibility that if the outbreak spreads further, the Tokyo 2020 Olympics could be postponed or completely called off. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.